Hi guys, welcome. Instead of uh, making videos on XFC and Plasma as you're used to, I'm on i3, right? So i3 is one of the tiny window managers and as you see, I've switched to ZSH and then the, oh my, ZSH themes provides me a random uh, theme like this one, right? So a super Q is closing again, Control T is opening again, and again it's different, and again it's different, and again it's different, okay. So that's a random thing. The video is the topic. Uh, the topic of the video is the update, right? If you update today, F12, update your system, you'll see that there is a new uh, Arclix tweet tool in. What did we change from top? I believe uh, this is behind the scenes. You won't see anything there, but it's getting ready for some changes. In here, we've enabled image backend. So you already know, okay, I'm going to have this kind of thing or I'm going to have this kind of thing and you can scroll over it as well. So you can actually see, okay, that's going to be my image. Now images is fun, but images do not work on all uh, these 20 terminals on Linux, right? And that's why we went to enable ASCII backend because that's always going to be okay. That's just letters. That's the ASCII thing here. So if you say, okay, I don't want to see the uptime, who cares? I don't want to see, I don't know, show resolution. It's It keeps on, uh, you can change change these things and then control T, this list becomes long, uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. There's also the small ASCII at some point in time. If it began, it's, it's getting too, um, if you want to really have a small little thing, like uh, who cares how many packages you have, right? So it's up entirely up to you how many packages and show CPU and so on and so on, you're right? Just, I'm just gonna click something just to make my point that if you have a small icon here, a ASCII icon, then you get a fewer lines or forget about the blocks, maybe you don't care about these colors as well. So changes, okay? Fine, that's that. Now the rest is situated here in themes we've been reworking our configuration of um, i3 so where is the configuration of i3 control h i have to thank uh, survey for it because he took a lot of time to actually go into the code and that's the code right and att at next week tool makes a backup and we switch between polybar or not polybar. I'll show you in a bit. So the configuration has changed. Not um, by function, right? But we did need to make some kind of way, did need to have a code somewhere to switch to sunset, for example. And this is more yellow here. You see sunset orange, apply, control shift R, reload, and everything is now orange. So we need to dig, we had to dig in into the code to actually define, okay, from there to there are the colors, right? If you go in the configuration, the theme is way down there. Now we used to have around, I think thousand or something, and maybe we can still see this. I see here a copy. Let's have a look if that's the copy before the change, right. So 1046 and now we're down to 838. So it's a, well, 300 lines more or less, uh, less in this, um, in this folder, in this file, sorry. Now, like I said, functional functionality has not changed. So if you would compare these two guys and you should, right, you should. And then you see the educational idea has been abandoned, right? Lots of lines up here and these will, uh, well, you will show it in, in the minimap, for example, it, it shows where all these elements start, but the titles have been just one line now, which of course is going to be, well, here as well, right? Empty lines. So, a cleanup basically of the code, all this rubbish that was not used, but was there educationally to make 
the, an, an, a module or a subsection or a visual aspect that this here it starts right stopping an application here is moving around in i3 so we've just have this line thanks sir for all the work so we've got 300 lines less but basically it's still the same thing plus and there the things change of course plus we've had to make some kind of way of telling the system here that we start here we start there and had to well improve our code let's say on the att department so that's that and um yeah then it's show time i guess toggle polybar apply and then let's kill some things here voila and then con super shift r and then you got polybar at the top and um, you need to change maybe to ruins apply control shift r another color fine and then toggle bar is off again apply super shift r again then this comes in again at the bottom right pinky why not go for pinky and then super shift r so it's it's great and it's fun to create themes and maybe we should create one more to trigger you again and, and have a look at i3 because it's super super stable has been before even arch labs so uh, we're talking about an experience of six years already that i say never had any issue with i3 so that's it guys that's what's new have fun and cheers